Hi, I'm Susie, and today I'm going to show you a new technique that's out called sugaring. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> this sugaring effect is so simple, I wish I thought of it, but I didn't. But I got a couple of ideas to add. So I'm starting the base color with this design right here. This is an ombre, and I've chosen these three colors. I do have a video you can check out. Once you get your three ombre colors on them, you make sure it's completely dry. Then you do this. This is so cool. So I'm going to start this with a very, very thin layer of white gel, simulating my white lace or white doily. A friend of mine, Natasha Hart, she showed me this. Went over for a production meeting over at Ugly Duckling, and she was just messing around, showing me some designs. It's kind of fun to see what she was up to. And she showed me this design, and she sort of fashioned it after like a crochet um, that she had was inspired, like a doily, crochet doily. And I thought it was really cute. So make it nice and thin. Now she was doing it with a clear acrylic, and yeah, you could do that, but I thought I'll try it with the white. I was trying it earlier this week, and it looks really cool with the white. It just makes it a little bit whiter. So you've got your wet gel, don't cure it, and then you want to just sprinkle some acrylic powder all over the wet part and then kind of get rid of it and then put a little bit more on. You want to do that about four or five times, making sure that it's not wet anymore, making sure the gel is not wet anymore. Okay. It does look That's, like sugar. Yes. <laughs> now you see why they call it sugar. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to take my dotting tool. I've got these two sizes that I'm going to use. So you don't want to cure this before you start to shape it. So you just want to sort of punch into the acrylic. And I sort of, to make that sort of lacy design, I kind of hit it a little so it creates that kind of lacy edge. That's what I love about this. Look at that. It looks so detailed. Look how easy and simple that is. And then I'm going to cure it. It's as simple as that. And you know, it stays like that. I did this last week for a little try to see how it would wear. I washed my hands tons of times and it was really, didn't get affected at all. I really like it. Nice. You like that? I do. You like lace? Yes. <laughs> Elegant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, just to have a steady hand, it's just so you can see it a little bit easier. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. Hmm, then I have to think, what design would I do? Remember, this doesn't have to be thick. Is that gel polish you're using? This is gel polish. And the white. It's an effective name, sugaring. Yeah, it does look just like green sugar on it. It does. Icing sugar, maybe. Yeah. Maybe if this is more of a dessert design <laughs> than a lace design. Okay. Let's design it up. This one I'm just gonna do like little dots and, and one kind of flower petals. Try to make it look like that. It's cute. To get more detail with lace, I guess I could study some patterns of lace to get ready in there. That's cute. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Watch this one. So I'm going to pick it up with the dotting tool on the really sharp end. See that? I'm going to pick it up and make dots. I like dots. 
I was gonna say you got a thing with I dots. I do. Because <laughs> yeah. it's so detailed and it's so dainty and it's so cute. But this will look very lacy. You just wait now. Come on. That's, you don't have to be a girl to appreciate that. You're supposed to be liking it now? Like? Yes, you're supposed to be liking it now. Oh. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that little kind of a lace edge right near the dots. See? Oh, Isn't yeah. that cute? Shiver it a little after too if I feel like I didn't do enough. And then the only thing you'd have to do is just clean up you know, the little dusty spots. Maybe we'll just do a little like a little lace trim. You just get better with ideas. Like I say, you can study some pieces of lace. I think I did the thumb better. I don't like this one as much. Then I'm it gonna, looks really nice. It looks cute, but it's not as good. Did you see the picture that I Instagrammed of the new puppy? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't see the Instagram. Mm. No. He's really cute. Got a new puppy. He is oh super cute. I'd Can't resist a new puppy. No. I think the cats can. Uh. <laughs> they can resist a new puppy. They're not impressed. <laughs> it's a little bit messy. Like cooking with sugar, it's messy. I like sugar. Usually in cupcakes, as one viewer pointed out, because I'm fat. I didn't realize that until I, until I heard the comment. I didn't know that. Who knew? Uh -huh. <laughs> See, sometimes it's a bit wet and it doesn't want to work. And I think that's because there's not enough on there. It's so hard to get gel applied thinly, right? So then put a little bit more on there and then just give it another whirl. Look at that, it worked now. It's just a little bit, not enough, sugaring on it. Okay, one more to go. See, it doesn't take long. It's a little messy, but what's a little mess between friends, right? Like a brown color it could even be portrayed as snake skin. Maybe even more like snake skin than it is lace. So now I'm just going to cure it. I did the thumb right, so I'm just gonna do these fingers. I'm just gonna give it whatever your manufacturer says on your gel polish. That's the kind of curing time you want to give it. It's usually about 30 seconds for an LED and about 90 seconds to two minutes, maybe up to three minutes for a top coat actually on your UV. Okay. Kind of cool. It's very dainty. It's very cute. I'm going to clean these up. Let's take a look at the reveal shots. So that's what they call sugaring. I love the effect. Really cool. I wish I thought of it. I'd love to see it in different colors. Black would be cool. Maybe on a matte finish. Those are some great ideas for some future videos. See you soon.